guys hi hello welcome back can you see me okay welcome back to another video we're starting this one very differently and i'm going to explain i've not been in my car much at all over the past few months but today i'm going to collect some stuff <laughs> i'm going to collect a cake for mason's birthday i feel like he can hear me but obviously he's in the house um i'm having to be really sneaky i haven't really mentioned where i'm going but it's his birthday tomorrow and i really wanted to vlog his birthday um i've got loads of like decorations and stuff and obviously because everything's shut at the moment and all of that i'm doing it all very much like diy and um, i've bought like a big helium canister i haven't actually ever used one before so i'm doing everything myself um other than the birthday cake which i'm going to collect um it's about half an hour from where i live so i'm just driving over there and obviously i couldn't start the vlog in the house so yeah i'm really excited to show you what i'll get up to and everything i just thought it would be a nice little different vlog if you have a birthday coming up in lockdown or one of your partners boyfriends girlfriends whatever i thought this could be a bit of a helpful video as well if you're struggling for like ideas or anything like that yeah i really need to get a move on <laughs> One thing I've really missed about not driving is being able to play music. So I'm going to put some Tory Lanes. So, so I've just got back. I've collected the cake. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I asked for like a smaller one because obviously there's only two of us. So I knew we'd end up eating a whole big one. I've heard sitch in here. It's an absolute bomb site. I need to start wrapping and organising. I got these little cake toppers. I didn't do the measurements right, so like obviously they're not gonna fit on there. But I'm just gonna try and cut them down. So this is like a clear balloon that I'm gonna blow up, and then I've got this little stencil to go on top for the 27th birthday Mason and a tie. And then I'm just thinking I might try and put like a balloon actually in it as well. Here's the helium canister. This actually makes me feel nervous. I've never used this. It can't be that difficult, surely. So Black blue slip and in the shot was the correct way of inflating. Oh my god, I hope this works. Okay. Why isn't that even turning? Oh, I can't flip it open, I think. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I couldn't get the cancer to work at first. And also I decided to put like a little black balloon so you could actually see the writing. So we've had the malfunction up there, but so this is what this area looks like in the dark. It's cute, and I'll show you in the light. So we're all ready and set. I'm gonna go to bed. And Elby's got a bow on. <laughs> got everything. It's all for us. Right, keep that on, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
been a few days since Mason's birthday and like the bank holiday weekend and we just had the best few days at home like we really made the most of it and I'm so glad um, Mason had a nice birthday and everything we had a few like technical issues with my camera but I just took that as like a sign maybe I wasn't meant to vlog that much this weekend and that is absolutely okay like these things happen basically these past few days we've just been really chilling out on Mason's birthday we drove out to the Peak District and went on like this new walk that we found we had like a really cute little picnic and then we're out for most of the day like phoned a few people drove around like there's some really nice little drives I'll put in a little clip it's really pretty we made a den like downstairs in the living room we talked about doing this for ages but it's one of those things you know that you just never actually end up getting around doing that so we took like our mattress topper and then put that on the floor in the living room and we just like had like a little movie night I felt like I was in like um like a, kind of like a drive-through cinema but obviously in my living room found a new series called is it Snowpiercer I thought it was a full series that we could like like binge on for the evening but it was only two episodes and it's really really good we also ordered an Indian food that's Mason and I's like favorite takeaway food I got really ill that night <laughs> um, it didn't agree with me like we got something new and we hadn't ordered from this place before so I was not well that night I think that's also why I didn't really vlog that much we finished a whole cake within like two days between two of us it was just the best best little old time but anyway I did want to just pop on here a few people messaged me about the cake that I put in my story and they were like what you actually eat that you actually eat cake and oh, wow that is crazy to me like of course I'm gonna eat cake I must admit a few years ago if like birthdays came around I'd always feel a bit like nervous if I, had, if I was trying to meet like a fitness goal back then that's just like a lack of knowledge like one day of eating hella cake is not going to change your body overnight like that's impossible like, it's not going to hinder your progress because you don't eat like that every day and I really wanted to mention that on here because I would never restrict anything that I enjoy or eat like especially on occasions like birthdays anything like a special occasion you know eat the bloody cake and also it'd be so damaging to then restrict or do anything crazy the next day because it's just going to have like a continual effect because you're going to be hungry the following day if you restricted the next day so just really be mindful of that I would say and I would mention is if you do have like the odd day or so or a few days where you haven't tracked or you've gone off your macros or just feel like you've kind of lost your way a bit do not worry like we all have those days and moments like we can't all just be blooming a1 you know it's not realistic we're just human at the end of the day each and every one of us so yeah don't feel like that but i think honestly just start afresh the next day just hit your macros don't do anything drastic or crazy because it, it just makes things very unsustainable i hope that was helpful and is useful if you're someone who is struggling just wanted to put up this video as it was such a nice little weekend and i also wanted to add this little bit extra in on the end but i really hope you enjoyed it and if you aren't ready don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye.